Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Today is Win It Wednesday. So whoop, we're gonna be giving away a free stencil today. I am excited for you to see the stencil because actually this stencil is a few years old. So it's in our uh, vault, so to speak, right? And I pulled it out and it's already retired, but I have just a couple left and I wanted to give this one away today. So um, let me jump right in. Today's project is we're going to be, as you're hopping on, just say, hey, I see Linda. Hey, Linda. All right, let me look at myself uh, on Facebook. What I mean is your comments. So let me um, head on over to our site real quick, and then we'll get started so I can see your comments. I can kind of see them there. It's just kind of hard for me. Lori, all you guys who are under 59 years old, uh, it may be a little bit easier for you to see, but it's a struggle for me now. <laughs> all right, uh, let me see. All right, we're on here. I have got Lori, Jan, Sarah, Carolyn, Lori, and Carolyn Renee. Hey, just say hey as you're jumping on. I'd like to give you a shout out and thanks for joining us. So, like I said, today is Win It Wednesday. And today, the question is, how do you prepare your Thanksgiving turkey? All right, so just in the comments, just pop your answer in the comments. And you can do that all along, uh, all throughout our time together today. Um, so thanks for hopping on and joining me. I'm going to be making a yard flag. And this year, I'm just uh, sticking with a certain theme, and I'll get into that with you. But I want to show you the stencil um, that I am going to give away. So it is called Valentine Subway Art. And I love this one so much. It is retired. I hate that it's retired. Some of my favorites retire, but it's just the way it goes. we got to move them out and make way for other designs. Peggy, hi, Lisa. I hope you're having a blessed day. I am. Today is a good day so far, except for I am going to say, it is cold out there. And that is not my idea of fun. Uh, we bake it. Linda says we bake it. All right. Francine, hey, Tanya. All right. So we got a bunch of people hopping on. Thank you. Be chalking. One deep fried and one oven cooked. So interesting. I, I've never done the deep fried myself. So, and I've always just done baked in the oven. My son, a few years ago, did a brine, and I thought that was really good. I really love the, you know, I'm like old fashioned. My family's from the South. So I like to make the giblet gravy and the, the dressing, not stuffing. We don't stuff our bird. Um, Got to make the cranberry dressing or um, I'm sorry the cranberry sauce from scratch I mean it's it's super simple a bunch of cranberries water cornstarch and sugar can't go wrong there uh, but that's uh, that's the way we do it okay Amy says always done in the oven all right how do you prepare your Thanksgiving turkey all right so let me I'm gonna jump into our project so let me just tell you one more time while everybody's hopping on please uh, spread this out there, sprinkle it, give me some of these if you just are enjoying this, if you love what we're bringing to you, because we love to do projects with you guys. But let us know that you're happy by just giving us a big um, one of these or one of these. Or, you know, I don't know why Facebook flags some of the stuff you say, but uh, if you would also just sprinkle this out to your friends so they can get involved and what could they win? I'm gonna show you one more time and then I'm gonna get into the project, okay? So you can win this and it's upside down okay and you can win this valentine subway it's an eight and a half by 11 and it's just so cute you can use it just parts of it or the entire thing again one of my faves i'm gonna set this aside we will put somebody's name on it tomorrow hopefully i'll be able to do that spin the wheel thing with you i'm trying to learn how to turn the camera around so you can see my my screen i'll do some test runs beforehand to see if i can we don't cook as we go out to we go to our family oh that's nice but i crochet gifts oh very cool hey helga candlew and angie and debbie and kendra Hey, I really, I know you could be doing anything else with your day and Kathy and Susan but and Sheila, but thanks for joining me. So what I'm going to be doing today is, you may have seen up in the body of this that I mentioned I was going to be making a yard flag. So I have one of our yard flags right here. I just want to let you know that we redid these yard flags. It was really important to me when we redid these 
that it be smooth, that the fabric be smooth so it's easy to stencil on, and also that it be waterproof. So it's it's got a, a lining. You, you can't see it's a, it's been waterproofed in the lining. So I really love these. Um, super inexpensive, come in a pack of two. So I took mine out and it's kind of wrinkly. Uh, so I'm gonna iron it uh, to take out the wrinkles. And then I'm gonna be using this Tom Turkey, one of my absolute favorites. Wait, I just said that about the last one. <laughs> but this Tom Turkey, uh, getting this design just right, I had to redo everything from this old um, this old grocery uh, logo and I just love that I didn't want to lose any of the detail because it was so cool um, so I hope that you will enjoy doing that together I have got some ribbons and different stuff I'm gonna work with I hope that you will uh, join me and stick with me till the end of this and like I said please get this out to folks that you think might be interested and by the way I just want to say um, in last week uh, when I did my video or in previous weeks people have sent me stars and I just want to say thank you I didn't see them before that you had sent them so I just want to say thank you so I'm gonna iron this real quick I just think it's gonna work better so I just have this like little mini iron it's a this one's a cricket it doesn't matter what you use but I'm just um, going over I don't I don't even need this parchment oh I know why I want to use this parchment paper because my my mat is a mess all right lisa you made tom turkey so awesome with all the details thank you very much for saying so uh so this is not like an iron but i kind of use it like an iron it's for pressing stuff on it's a little um but i've been having a lot of fun with this little thingy you know what i need i need one of those little travel irons the little tiny one i think you can get those at walmart pretty pretty cheap does anybody use a little iron like this or you know a travel iron um, for their uh, crafts it's so much easier I think than pulling out the big one right to keep a turkey moist put it in a Reynolds oven plastic bag Jan that never fails and I use it every single year it definitely keeps them moist and doesn't dry out I love it and then the thing pops uh, and you know you're done it's like it's a no-brainer I love it I think uh, all right so let me um, be done with this turn that off and I'm going to set this down real quick out of our way, my way. <laughs> All right, so I've got my, I've got my yard flag. And what I thought that I would do is I have been working on this like sort of farmhouse type of theme. And I don't really do farmhousey stuff, but my daughter-in-law does. And if you guys saw some of these that I made um, last week, this little, uh, if you didn't go go in the video section and go take a look okay um these napkin rings that i made um and then these pressed uh leaves i just got leaves from outside and painted them very very lightly with our ink and i used the glittering black ink and then i used um this one came from this saying says give thanks this came from our um uh autumn wreath um and then I also made this to go with it. That came from the autumn wreath as well. Um, and then I made this one too. I didn't do it on live. I did a little bit later. And this time I used the Give Thanks from our fall minis. So super cute. So I've got these. And then I also made this table runner. I'm just going to show you one part of it. Let me see if I can. All right. And I just love it. So I wanted to stick with this same theme. So I did it on um, both sides. You know, I did it uh, on both ends of the runner. And I'm going to give this to my daughter-in-law. But I thought that what I'm going to do is it's going to just all be the same color theme. So let me set these aside. By the way, I used, um, this was duck cloth. Again, go up there and look in the videos if you miss this one. It's too easy to, to not do. Uh, and same with the leaves and the give thanks and these it's just such a cute uh, little um, addition to your home for the holidays uh, but this was so easy to do um, again all the instructions are in that video and I used the stencil um, thanks and giving all right let me put these aside so I'm sticking with that same thing and this is a natural looking um, you know the fabric is natural and it has two sides right and then um then there's a little place uh um 
what do they call it? I can't think of it right now. But anyway, I'll think of it in a minute. But um, a casing, uh, so to speak, for the pole to fit through. And you can just pick up one of these these poles just about anywhere. Um, this one uh, came from, actually, Samantha picked them up. But you can see it was at the Dollar General for $3. And she got them on clearance. So, um, a crock pot. Okay. I guess I need to try this. I sit nearby basting mine for hours and i'm telling you and just follow the in instructions on the reynolds thing it's so simple all right so this is my top all right so i am going to um, i'm gonna let it face your way so you can see and i'm gonna take um tom turkey this is our eight and a half by eleven and since this is um fabric i don't need to fuzz it all right so I am going to mark on the back that this one's Tom Turkey. You guys, I have stencils drying everywhere around here. <laughs> ah, must be hard to work with me sometimes. Okay. And it really helps if I have the back written on it because I just have them everywhere. All right. Anybody else like me? Brown bag. Oh, my gosh. So, Claudia um, and the brown bag. Have you ever done brown bag chicken? In fact, that's what we used to always call it when my kids were little, brown bag chicken. And uh, you just take your um, chicken, we always did chicken thighs, and, uh, you know, the, the chicken thigh and leg, and uh, just some Lowry seasoning salt, just keep it simple. Lowry seasoning salt, put them in a brown paper bag, don't do anything. Put them in a brown paper bag and uh, fold it under, put it in the oven, 350. Oh my gosh, so delicious, such a yummy you don't do anything to them. All right. All right. So I'm going to peel off my stencil. I decided I have to turn it around so that I can see it so I can have good place placement. All right. So what I wanted to do, you guys, is I wanted to, like I said, keep in step with this. All right. So I am going to, I do have that, uh, some more of that uh, ribbon. And I got this from um, last year, actually. I got it from... Uh, Michaels and it's an inch and a half this is wired but as we did last time I'll be taking the wire out but because I am planning to use uh, the ribbon uh, and another ribbon I'm going to use this orange one as well I want to I know it did, it's not in keeping with the other one when I put the orange but I wanted to pop a little bit more on the front yard so now I, when I'm placing this one I'm trying to place it this is where the the um what did I just say this is? The casing part? No, that's not what it is. Anyway, there is a line here where the seam is. So I'm just going to fold that under so I can eyeball kind of where I want to put it. Or I could line it up here on my cutting mat and that has lines. So it, it's going to help me sort of like cheaters. Not cheaters, like do some measured, uh, make a measured decision. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it in place, and I think with my, like I said, I believe with my, I'm going to stay with the same design in that I'm going to uh, put the ribbon on the top and the bottom, okay? So now I'm just making sure that I have it the way I want it, and again, we love about our stencils is that they're a repositionable. Now, I don't have to get it perfect because there's any number of things I could do if I don't, if I don't get it perfect, but I want to start out you know, as perfect as I can be. Okay. Paula says, love the idea of writing stencil name on the back for matching up. It is a great idea. It is a great idea. I just don't always do it. I'm just going to put this, um, just because I have it here, I'm going to put this um, parchment paper. You could use any paper. You don't have to do anything. I'm kind of messy, so I'm just going to put it right up to my stencil so I don't get it on my my fabric. And I don't always do this, only when I remember. All right, so I'm just going to um, smooth out this stencil just to make sure it has a good good contact between the stencil and the, um, look at all the, uh, squirrel, um, and the fabric. But look at all the great details on this turkey. I just love it. Here's a great turkey. Okay, so 
And that's what you get with these mesh stencils is you get that really fine design detail that you can't get with, uh, you know, cutting them on your own. All right. So now I am using, if you guys haven't picked this up yet, you should. It's our Glittering Black Ink, and I'm loving the glitters. Now, why did I choose this one? I chose this one because it's not a true, like, stark black. It's more muted, and I think that gives a real, like, Christmassy kind of like, but at the same time, farmhouse look, okay? So um, this is what I look at. Look how yummy that is. It's just like I've been using, you can tell, I've been using daylights out of it. All right, so I'm going to grab, I think I'll uh, work with a little stencil today. And I'm just going to grab uh, some ink, and I'm going to wipe it across. Now, I'm not going to, like, push it, right? We talked about that before. But this is black on a, a natural color fa fabric. So I am go going to go over it twice. Hey, Pam. Linda, she says, I love this stencil. Me too. Sam, can you tag me in the live? She did the table runner and napkins. <laughs> yeah, uh, we will. Uh, we'll get you on there. Just go up in the videos section and you'll be able to see it. It was from last week. I think it was Saturday. Actually, it was Saturday. So go up there and take a look. Um, and it's it was really simple. Um, didn't even sew the runner. I just ripped the fabric. It was really that simple. Okay. Hi from Alabama. Hi, Wanda. Is it cold down there in Alabama yet? Because it is cold up here in Charlotte. How many of you guys have had a freeze warning? Last night, I went to bed, and they're like, freeze warning for the next three days. I'm like, North Carolina? Are you kidding me? It's still October. So I grew up in uh, Southern California, and, you know, we'd wear, like, spaghetti strap stuff out for Halloween, you know? And now it's like, okay, you can wear that, but you have to wear, like, a sweater under it. <laughs> it kind of ruins the whole look. It's not the same. Not that I want to live back there again. I love it in the Carolinas. All right, so I've got it all over my stencil. You see this? And I didn't put so much on uh, so that you... What you do want to be able to do is see the design through the stencil. That's how you know you have enough on or you've taken enough off. So I'm just going to go over it one more time. Now just know that when we do peel off the stencil, if um, I if I peel it slowly and I notice that, oh heck, I didn't get that area very well or didn't go all the way through the screen in that area, I can just roll it back in place and put more ink there and I'll be good to go. Ink or paste, whatever the medium is that you're working with. Okay, so yes, freeze warning, three days for us in Madison County, Kentucky. I'm going to Kentucky. I am going to Kentucky. Um, where do you live? Madison? Madison County, Jan. Okay, I'm going to Kentucky uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Let me think about that. And uh, for my anniversary, my husband and my anniversary, and we're going to go see the Ark. Have you been to see the ark? I am so excited. I am so excited. I was looking it up last night and and looking at all the things that we could see when we're there. But uh, so cool. I've been wanting to go for a while now. So my husband's like, "Where do you want to go?" We usually do the mountains because that's where we honeymoon. And I'm like, "I just I don't I want to go see the ark." So that's what we're gonna go to. Finally found it. It was four days ago. You are wearing a pink shirt for anyone. <laughs> Else, and thank you very much for saying so. I appreciate that. Can't wait to see the ARC. Yes, I will report back on that and let you know how that goes. Okay, I think I'm all done. I played with it enough. I'm just going to, um, so I squeegeed off the excess that I don't need. And let me close this up before I pull the stencil off so that I don't get it, make anything else a mess, right? Okay. Oh, thank you very much for putting the link to that video. Uh, I want to go there too. Yeah, maybe next year. I'm I'm so looking forward to it. Seeing the arc. Okay, now I'm just gonna uh, make sure that my fingers don't have any ink on them. I mean, cover up the ink over there. I'm just making sure my fingers don't have any ink on them. And then I always use the side of my hand to just kind of hold the fabric down, um, and then use my finger. Now, now I'm gonna pull it up, right? Um, and I'm gonna start pulling back. Now I'm not gonna go too fast because I want to make sure that I get everything and let me see I want to get a little more detail 
So I'm going to roll back in place. I want to get a little more detail on this established. I don't think it came through as dark as I wanted it. And it's got really tiny writing. So, I mean, that that's the reason. So I'm just going to put a little bit more. But you can see I didn't go very far with it. So I could just roll it back in place. Just go a little bit at a time. All right. I'll just keep this over here just in case. Just in case. Ah! Oh. Emergency, i got to wipe my hands here. Okay. You, Linda says, baked is my favorite. Just season with salt, pepper, and butter, then bake. Yum. Have dressing, cranberry, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Have to have gravy. Gravy, everything. Um, and green bean casserole and sweet potato casserole. We also have ham. Ooh. Gosh, you guys really go all out. Okay. All right. Let me pull it back. All right, so just a little bit at a time. Just making sure I got those little intricate details. Oh, he's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. All right, I'm going to set this aside. I'm actually just going to hang it on the edge of my table so I can wash it later. I'm just sticking it there. You could put it upside down on top of your backing sheet. Uh, in uh, Some people will put it on a wet paper towel, whatever you want to do. Okay, so now I'm going to put this away again. And then we will get to work on really like gussing it up. Who used to who uses that terminology? That term, gussy it up. I think I must have got that from my mom or my grand my grandfather. Okay. Setting this aside. Alright, I want to show you what I've got. Thankfully I didn't do him upside down. Alright, did that turn out so perfect or what? You know what? This would look so, so stinking cute on, um, you know, a, um, not cheesecloth, that's not what I'm thinking of, but like a tea towel or anything like that. An excellent gift for you to give to anybody. Um, something, maybe, you know, what I like to do when I put my rolls out um, is line the bowl with a, a tea towel and then fold it over, right, to keep it warm. So it'd be cute if you had two of these and just fold it over and you could see the Amal uh, Grocer Company. It would even be cool if you just did this. I don't know. There's so many opportunities, right? All right, so um, next up, I'm going to go for the ribbon. All right, so the ribbon I've chosen. Hey, hey, Lisa and Kathy. Kathy says glazed ham. And Jan shared. Thank you very much, Jan. I appreciate that. Um, okay, wow. Lots of good food on here. Cute. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go for this ribbon again. This is one and a half inches. It is a wired ribbon. I'm just going to uh, measure about, you know, eyeball it to see about how much I need. And then I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger than I think I need. And I'll cut two pieces, but I'm going to add orange too, I think. Let me, uh, I got this stuff all crammed in here. Let me turn on my fabric uh, glue gun. So I have one that I just reserved for my shore bond, okay? Oh, which reminds me, let me grab one. Okay, and I keep my... <laughs> I'm super fancy. I use all my peanut butter jars for my glue sticks. And I just write on there that this is Sherbon, so I know which one to use. The other one that I use, like for other projects, I typically use the um, Gorilla Glue because it works really well. All right, I'm going to let that heat, heat up. In the meantime, I'm going to work on this, and I want your opinion on it, okay? So right now, I know it said on here that it was wired ribbon, but you guys told me some weeks back, just take the wire out. So I'm pushing the wire up through the top here, and I'm going to pull it. This is like really thin wire. Uh, hey, Sandy. All right, now I'm going to pull the wire out. Um, and it is on both sides. So pull the wire out on both sides. I feel like, did that one have it on both sides? I, I'm sure it did, but I feel like I didn't feel it. All right, so see, now it's super flexible. All right, I'm going to do it with the other one. What happened to the other one? You guys, I'm losing it. <laughs> Maybe I didn't even cut it. All right, that's all right. I'm sure I'm going to use this some more. I'm actually going to see uh, my daughter-in-law 
uh, and the new baby. When we go to the ark, we're going to stop first. We're flying into uh, Louisville, and then uh, we're going to get our truck, go see the grandbabies, grandbaby, just the newest one, and then we'll go on to go see the ark. So I'm going to take these things with her. So this is very good timing that I'll have a yard flag for her. I will have a table runner, and I'll have napkins and napkin rings. So I love to smother my turkey with butter. Come on, what does butter not make fantastic, right? Okay, so I'm going to put this on, and then I want you guys to help me decide on what to do with the top. All right, so I'm going to um, just cut this to the size I think I need. All right, and then I'm going to put it just on the bottom here. All right, now I'm going to put it, there is a seam here, and I don't want to put it on that. I'm going to raise it just above about a half an inch. Well, let's go about an inch. And that'll frame that turkey in real nice. I'm going to do the same up here. Up here where we have this uh, seam, I'm going to take it down about an inch. So we will frame him in. All right. Then I thought that I would also put this orange stripe. Now, strip <laughs> of ribbon. Now, I want to ask your opinion on this. Um, two things. Okay. This is the first one. And then I'll ask your opinion after I get this on, on one other thing. The bottom will look like this, just like the table runner, or the bottom and the top. Or for a little bit of pop, it, I think it still screams farmhouse, orange, add orange or no orange. You guys tell me. Let me turn it around and so you guys can see the other, like from the top, what it would look like. So both the top and the bottom, um, I could do it one of two ways. So this orange is just plain orange, okay? Or I could go the other way, and the other way has a little bit of gold in it. So orange on the plain side, or orange with the gold. What do you think? No orange. I would add the orange. Add orange. Everybody's saying orange. Okay, orange showing the gold side. I'm not sure that's farmhousey, or just orange on the plain side. I think we'll go orange with <laughs> orange with gold. Thank you, Gail, for sprinkling. I do appreciate that. And Anne, thank you so much. I love the pop of orange color. Okay, yes, love the orange pop. Orange with gold. Okay, you guys are liking the orange with the gold. So we're going for it. All right, let me turn this back around. Now, if you guys don't use Sherbon glue, you guys have he heard me on here a gazillion times about Sherbon. Uh, we don't sell it. We don't promote it. We don't get paid. But we do love using it. So I'm just going to um, put a bead of it right here. And I am putting it on uh, the top piece right here. I'm going to put it on the bottom, but I like to get it all in place first and make sure that it's nice and straight. And um, they're just going to keep on um, adding that glue. Um, I do find that with the Shore Bond, you don't want to wait for it to set up for a long time. You want to go ahead and put it in place. So don't, you know, like don't, <laughs> I say, don't get too chatty. Um, and then, all right, so I've got this in place. Now I need to get the sides. I've got to trim this one a little bit. Get the sides and then the bottom. All right, so I'm going to get the side here. Um, is it necessary to get the side? I just feel like it stays on better. It just looks like, you know, it's got a nice finished look there. Let me trim this one at the edge. And then we'll put the orange on because you guys voted orange, so we're doing orange. So with me, you get to pick your poison. <laughs> All right. And I got to get these the side done. Okay. Looking cute. All right, let me put the orange on. Orange with the gold. The orange is going to be super simple because it's just one little piece here. All right. Uh, be careful. Don't bring yourself. Actually, this one's a lower temp glue gun, so it's pretty safe. I don't usually burn myself with this one, but you know what? I didn't get the finger protectors out either this time. See, I often forget them. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So now I'm going to show you what you guys voted on. All right. Let me get this on here. Then you can see. Tell me if you love it. I think that that was the right decision. 
praying for your safe travels to Kentucky and back home. You enjoy your time with family and visit to the Ark. Thank you so much, Jen. I greatly appreciate that. Hey, Lynn. All right, so uh, just a quick little tip if you guys are not aware. If you put a little bit of um, glue, hot glue, on the end of your glue stick and put it in there, um, you're going to have to hold it longer than I am. I'm not sitting here holding it. But if you if you hold it, it'll just pull right through. And then, you know, sometimes when you have that other glue stick that you're putting on the end, it doesn't, like, push all the way through. Okay, so did we get the... Yep. Got the wire out of that one. All right, so now we're going to do the one at the top. And then the final question about what to do, what to do. I've got an idea about the top, but I need you guys to help me out on it. See, I told you I didn't I didn't sit here long enough and wait while I put this in here. <laughs> I told you guys what to do and then I didn't even do it. Alright, I'm not being like super uh, picky about everything and where it's going. Uh, I'm just uh, putting it on there. I'm eyeballing it. But I think it's looking great. Okay, all right, I roast my turkey in the regular oven. Just an old-fashioned turkey dinner. I love it. Turkey dinners are awesome. Okay, that's in place. Let me turn that off. All right, here is the interesting part. The thing that I was going to ask you guys is I want to know about a bow. You know, I'm always on the fence about bows because I'm not really a bow person. And what I mean by that is I just like when I'm making something, I don't think to put a bow on it. It's not that I don't like them. It's just I just don't ever think about it. I wouldn't say that like I didn't wear a lot of pink growing up. I wouldn't put myself in the girly girl um, sort of category. I love all those things. Uh, it just feels like when I'm getting myself ready or when I'm making things, I don't think about them, you know. I don't think about that extra pizzazz. Um so I'm going to let you guys tell me, do I need a bow? And I'm going to show you what it would look like if I did. Um, and then one more thing. So uh, tell me if you like it. You guys, that was a great idea. The orange was the way to go. Thank you, Sandy, for, sh for sprinkling. I really appreciate it. Every time you guys do, I really appreciate that. Okay, here's the question. The bow could look like, um, I'll just... You know, like, play play with it for a second. It could look like this, maybe even with some orange. Who knows what we, what we would do. Let me just pretend for a second here. It could look like, you know, maybe like a bow here. Can you guys see that? Or a bow here. But here's my other question. You might like this idea better. I was thinking, wouldn't it look cute if I just did little loops along the top and then rather than hooking it through this casing I would hook it uh, I would um, put it on the yard flag on these little things across here maybe like four of them so bow that's one answer yes or no on the bow bow or no bow and then the other one is do loops on the top or just use the casing loops or no loops you tell me, loops, <laughs> no bow. Okay, we got one boat for the loops and no bow. Okay, then we're definitely doing the loops. So let me cut, I mean, this again, I'm, I am going to borrow my friend Patsy's saying, I'm gonna chicken eye this and um, just cut four, I'll just cut four. And uh, this one still has the wire in it. Um, I can choose to leave the wire or not. Uh, let me get no bow. Nobody, everybody's saying no bow, but definitely the loops. All right, so I'm just guessing right here, okay? I'm going to leave the wire in this one. You don't need to. You don't have to take it out or whatever, but I'm just going to leave it. So I'm going to turn this over. I think my I think my ink is, um, is cured enough to where I can. I'm just going to come over here. And put some glue on. And glue it in place and then to itself. I 
Are we liking that? All right, so I got like a little guide about how far down I'm going to glue it. Let's do the others. No bow. I do like the idea of the loops. Okay, yay for the <laughs> yay for the loops. Okay, let me uh, do this one over here. And I'm putting it down just about the same. Uh, you know, trying like crazy to make sure I have the, the same length. I mean, I guess I could have taken the wire out, but you know, why, why bother? It's going to hang from it. It's not like it's on the fabric. Okay, two more. Um, so let me find, I'm going to use my little mat here and try to find a good spot for both of those. Um, let me place them real quick to make sure that's going to work. You guys, I think I'm going to really like this. All right, we're just a little cheater glue real quick. And as that's setting up, I'll put more in. All right, or more on. All right, so I'm putting it, um, I'm getting a good amount of the glue on under the uh, the whole area of the where the loop, the ribbon touches the fabric. Okay, so if this entire piece touch the fabric I'm putting the glue all over it so it has a few different anchor points all right I don't think we can put too much glue well I mean obviously you can it wouldn't look that great if you put too much but all right you guys ready for it I'm gonna get this out I need to find me some of those flag stands for the yard love the yard flags in different seasons so Sandy you can get them anywhere um, <clears throat> I also looked on Amazon. You can get them on Amazon. This one just came from uh, Dollar General. Uh, some of them even have like a little clip so, you, so it doesn't like take off anywhere. Uh, let me see. So this part that looks like the H, that's the part that sticks in the ground, right? And then <laughs> it's got these connectors. <clears throat> so I don't think I'm going to bother with the connector right now. Well, I'll go ahead and do it. I said I was going to, so I'll do it. I'm, I like to stick with my word. I just did it on my phone. The swipe works for me. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, okay. For comments and such, too. Okay. Hi, Caprice. Thanks for joining us. All right, so I'm going to screw this in. Look out. <clears throat> we don't need to do all that. I'll just keep the top, the top part so you guys can see. <clears throat> Now we're going to put our flag on and see if you like what we did. Again, don't forget to um, go in and take a look. Uh, four days ago, <clears throat> uh, when I did the, uh, the table runner, you're going to want to take a look at that. It goes with this. <clears throat> it matches. The theme matches. Um, and I think it turned out well. Okay, here we go. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think. <clears throat> My Caprice is from Iowa. Hello. All right. I I think you guys are so smart. I love the loops. All right. Can you see it okay? Okay, this is it far. I don't know. It's hard to tell on this camera what's working and what's not. So this is it far away. Is that adorable? Oh, I love it. You know what? It's got like a really classic look. But it's punched up a little bit with the ribbon, don't you think? All right, here's here it is close up. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I thank you so much for just all your comments and the love you give and uh, sprinkling. And um, I hope that you will come back. We're going to have more lives this week, of course. Here is my Tom turkey. So the items I used, again, were our yard flag. You can, they come two to a pack. So make it one for yourself and a friend. Um, then I used the Tom Turkey stencil, and I used our beautiful uh, glittering black fabric ink that is permanent, so you can put it outside without uh, worrying about it. And then I just dressed it up. I hope you liked it. So don't forget, today is when it Wednesday, guys. 
All right, so this is what you could win. In the comments, don't forget, how do you prepare your Thanksgiving turkey? And this is what you could win. This is our retired Valentine Subway, and I'd love to give it to you. So let us know in the comments. Pass this on to someone else that might be interested, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll give it away. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.